Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to make custom Discord commands using Discord.js. Once again, this is a series in my channel where I go through the basics on how to get started making a Discord uh, bot using Discord.js. Last episode, I went over the specifics, the specific basics on how to get your bot running, how to add your bot into, oh, I wanted to open that, how to get your bot into your own private Discord channel, and how to get your bot running with the token and everything else. So if you're new here and you don't know where and how to get started, there'll be a link in the description. Go ahead and check out the first video where I go over the basics on how to get started. In this episode, I'm going to go into detail about commands more about specific commands on how to, uh, you know, how people can interact with your bot. Another thing, again, this is not going to be a series where I go from beginning to end, from uh, easy to hard. This is going to be a series where I go through the basics. And then after getting done with the basics, I'm going to go ahead and start making specific bots, specific cool bots that you guys like. For example, I might do a tutorial on how to make a, a League of Legends bot, or how to make a Fortnite bot, or how to make something that you guys would like. So in the comments below, I want to hear you, hear your opinions and your uh, what you want me to do with the upcoming videos, any suggestions about what Discord bots I should be creating. With that, let's just get ahead. Let's just go ahead and get started with our video. Again, last video we created our Discord bot with uh, Node and NPN and Discord.js and Node.js. There'll be a link in the description if you, want to, if you want to go ahead and go check it out. If we open up our project, we left off here where we created a simple command. This was just a test command to see if our bot was running. All you did was say hello and the bot responded, hello friend. So let's get started. So the first thing we need is we need a prefix. Every command that any bot has usually has a symbol at the beginning that indicates that the you know, the thing that they're typing is meant for a command for a specific bot. Most people usually use an exclamation mark or a question mark or a money sign, a money sign mark, whatever you like. We're going to go ahead and create one. So we're going to do a const. We're going to do a const. Once again, it's const is a variable that cannot be changed. We're going to name this prefix. And it's going to be equal to just a string. And for our prefix, we are just going to do pre, what did I do wrong here? Cons prefix. Okay. I don't know what was happening there. There was an error that seemed to happen there without no excuse. All right. We create a const. We, if you don't want to do a const, you can do a variable and change that later. But we're going to create a const here. Cons prefix equals, and this is going to be your little symbol at the beginning of the command. All right. So we're actually going to delete this because we don't need this actually. We need this first part where it says bot.on message because this is gonna be uh, basically listening to our bot with the message. So we're gonna keep this here. The other thing we need is we actually gotta make another variable. We're gonna call the arguments. I'm actually gonna do a let. Uh, if you guys know about programming, let is like a const, which is basically like a variable. Uh, but if you guys wanna do more research, go ahead and do that. We're gonna do a let and it's going to be equal to message. Uh, I'm actually going to change this, these, uh, the MSG here to message because I'm actually used to doing message. So message dot content. I'm going to do substring, and I'm going to do a substring of the prefix. I'm going to do dot length, and I'm going to do dot split, and then we're going to split it up with. Uh, little quotation marks here and then a space and we're gonna do that. That's basically gonna allow us uh, just to implement the prefix at the beginning of our arguments. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a switch. A switch is basically a an if statement. It's just easier to do if you're doing multiple commands. So before we had an if statement here, but we're actually gonna just do a switch. So we're gonna do switch and we're gonna do arguments, rx. I'm going to leave this open because I'll explain what this means in a bit. And then we're just going to open up the switch statement. So the arguments, this is a quick little programming lesson here. We're going to put zero here. What does this mean? The arg zero means that if the first, basically the first word after prefix is going to be args zero in programming, arrays are from zero to a specific number. 
So for our first argument, if we want to do, you know, our prefix and then we're going to do something like ping, this is our first argument. If we want to do another argument after that, let's just say ping and our second argument is help. This will be argument number one. So if you want to do something about this, you would come here and do argument one. But we're doing argument zero because uh, that's the first uh, little argument that we have at the beginning. Then we'll do a case, and then this is going to be basically uh, ping. This is the same thing as equals equals uh, ping if we had an, uh, like an if statement. And we're going to open up with a semicolon, and then we're going to do message dot reply. And then we're just going to do pong. And we're going to break it here. We have to break it. And then that is basically our our command here. If we actually go ahead and run the bot, we do this, uh, and no space dots. If you don't know how to open up the terminal, go back and check my last video. Let me go back here and our bot is online. And if we do exclamation point ping, the bot should, re should reply with pong. Now, a lot of people may be asking, so how do I like, how do I change this where the bot will not respond to a specific person, but we'll just send pong in the channel. Most of the commands in bots they're not meant for a specific person. They're just the bot sends them to a channel. So what you can do here is we close our bot, control C to close it. We change this from message that reply to message that channel that send message. And then we do palm. Let's open up terminal node space dot. And the bot is online. We go back in here. We do ping and it's just going to respond pong without replying to the specific person that's typing it. All right, so let's continue. Let's just go ahead and create another command. So we're going to do another case. So we're just going to do actually, let's just format it a little better case. And then this is going to be, let's just say websites. I'm going to do a message that channel that send message. And we're going to send the, our website for this. I'm just going to do my gaming YouTube channel. If you guys want to subscribe to my gaming YouTube channel, there'll be a link in the description. Ha, see, there's a little quick little uh, advertising there. And we're going to break it. So that's just going to be if the first argument is website. All right, let's continue. So case, let's just do something like info. And most of our things usually have an information. So we're going to open this case and then we're going to do a message. Actually, let's let me, let me teach you about what if you want a second argument. So case info and what if the if let's just say that if for info, you must have a second argument, which would be and the array would be number one. So we would want something like info version something like that. So we do case info, then we do an if statement. So if the arguments, the second argument, which will be of course, number one is equal to version that we want to uh, message that channel that send message. And then we just type version here, version 1.0, something like that. It doesn't matter. And then we're going to do an else. So else, else, if there is no argument, if, if, if someone does something like, let's just say he does info and then he does info author or something. If you don't specifically make a command for author, we're going to reply message that message that channel that send message. And we're just going to respond invalid args or invalid arguments. And then of course we're going to break the case. So we're going to break. And just like that, if we open up the terminal, the terminal, no space dot, and we go back into our discord, then we do info. And that's going to be invalid arguments because we didn't specify uh, what we wanted the info for. So we do info and then we can do version. 
and it's going to show us version 1.0.1 .1. and you can actually create over here like a variable if you want to like change your version often a variable uh, let's just say version version and then it's just going to be a little bit you know tidying things up like this and then you can just come over here and then just do version and if we actually just close this and open it up again it should work i'm just teaching you guys if you want to be a little bit more organized so info version this should do version oh well we should <laughs> we should probably do sorry uh version if you want to have the version the word version before the actual version you open up a string version then you do plus and then the actual version which is the variable we have up here so let's just close this info version and just like that version and it's actually <laughs> there should be a space right here space there you go that fixes everything all right so let's just do a cool command let's just get into a little bit more of a uh, you know detailed stuff let's just say we want a command to clear a certain amount of uh of messages in a specific channel now we actually haven't gotten into permissions uh i might i think next video is gonna be about permissions but permissions will allow uh you know specific commands for specific perms specific permissions so you know so people can't just randomly join a channel and then start deleting stuff and stuff like that if you're creating like a really heavy an admin bot it's very important to have permissions but we don't have permissions yet but let's just go ahead you know let's just let's go ahead and just do this okay so we're going to create another case and this is going to be clear i'm going to open this up and then for this first is we're going to make sure that there is always going to be a second argument or as in the programming term a first argument or argument one that there always has to be a second argument for this to work if we don't have this we're going to get a bunch of errors so let's just do it so we're going to do an if we're going to do args one so if they are not so we actually have to do an exclamation mark if there are no second arguments we're just going to return I'm just going to return a message to whoever sent it. So reply. And we're going to do error. Please define a second arg. Something like that. Just to help them out. And then we're going to go over here. And we're going to begin. So we're going to do message. It's actually very simple to do a delete. Message that channel that bulk delete. And then we're going to do arg arguments, the first arguments. And that's basically it. And we're going to break, of course. So let me just organize my, my code here. So this, let's just, let me just run through what I just did here. So we created another command. Then what we did is that if the command of the second, the second argument in the command does not exist, return a message to the, whoever sent the message, error, please define a second argument. If so, continue message the bulk delete the certain amount of commands or comments, the amount of comments that they want to delete. So if we continue here, ooh, look, that finished downloading. Node dots, and we run our bot. If you go over here and we do clear, it's gonna be sorry, error, please define second argument. And we do clear space five. It's going to take a while and it's going to delete five of the messages. So let's just do it and do clear 10. It's going to go ahead and delete the whole thing and it's going to clear the chat. So this is basically how commands work. You can get a lot, a lot of stuff done with commands. That's basically how most people are going to communicate with your bot using these commands. So you can go ahead and start messing around with commands, do your own specific commands. There are actually a lot, a lot of helpful tools and like communities and forms uh, that will help you create your custom commands. So if you want to do something specific, you can go ahead and just search how to do it. Um, I will leave the discord.js uh, docs down below in the description click on that. 
I will run through a whole lot of things you can do with commands and just implement them, change them around, edit the numbers and stuff like that. But this is basically the general how to do Discord bots. It's just like this. We are going to get a little bit more advanced because as you can see, we're just replying messages. And right here, we got a little advanced where we're deleting uh, specific messages. But in the future, we're going to be creating a lot and a lot of more complicated bots. We're going to be, uh, you know, you know, getting into how to communicate with other servers, how to communicate with networks, how to retrieve stuff and a lot more stuff. So this is it for the video. We basically created the bots. We created uh, all the commands. You can go ahead and mess around. You can get, you know, get started doing a lot of stuff. But for now, this is the basics on how to create a custom command on with using Discord.js on your own personal Discord uh, bot. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, I want you guys to go into the comments below and comment any suggestions for the upcoming videos. I'm almost getting ready to finish with the basics. Even though I only have two videos, I only have to get out like... Uh, I think like a permissions and like embeds and stuff like that. And just after those videos, we're going to get started into the real juicy, how to create specific Discord bots. And that's where it's going to get a lot of fun. And you guys are going to help me out on creating your own specific bots and your, you know, the bots that you guys recommend me to create. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe to my gaming YouTube channel. There'll be a link in the description. Also subscribe to this YouTube channel if you want to see more coding videos and how to create more Discord bots. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys later on my next video. Peace.